We've got news about offline play, difficulty, the return of the gunsmith, helicopter controls, and more. Plus, do you have to stick with your team or can you separate and explore the entire map on your own, even if you're playing in co-op? And more on offline play. A ton to go over today. Hello there, my fellow Open World Gamers. What's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we're dropping into the world of Bolivia to check out Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> Thanks to our friends at charlieintel.com, we found out that Ubisoft community manager Yubikiba goes on to say that there is a rich, immersive co-op campaign that can be played alone, offline, with three AI. So those of you with shoddy internet connections, and I know how crappy they can get, do not worry, you can play this game offline. Now, a lot of you were also wondering how the co-op system would work in the game. Can you just hop into a game and separate and go anywhere? or are you tethered by a certain distance with your co-op buddies? Thanks to AI Blue Fox, community member on Ghost Recon, and by the way, I got to meet him at E3. He's an awesome guy. Hello there. He goes on to say, good news, there isn't a tether. You can go anywhere on the map, even if you are playing with uh, co-op buddies, so it seems that you can tackle your own missions, side quests, and just goof off and finally meet up to complete a mission together. It sounds a lot like GTA Online, which is really nice. By the way, it appears that Gunsmith will be making a grand return in Ghost Recon Wildlands for anyone wondering. This system was the standout feature from Future Soldier, and it seems like it will be expanded upon quite a bit. Oh boy! So Robbie, will the helicopter controls in this game be more like Battlefield 4 or GTA? So according to AI Blue Fox, who also got hands-on time with the alpha of Ghost Recon Wildlands, the controls are more like GTA Online and a bit more forgiving than Battlefield 4. This does make sense to allow more accessibility to the game and, you know, anyone jumping in from GTA Online. I, however, prefer my Battlefield 4 controls. I'm just saying I've gotten so used to those. I love them. So I do hope they offer uh, multiple choices when it comes to uh, the control schemes for your vehicles. And we've got another awesome guy who I also got to meet at E3 2015. He's a community member. He speaks on behalf of Ghost Recon. His name is Cortexian. And he goes on to add that vehicles can be occupied by AI. You can go and roam around just like any open world game and just hijack whatever you please. So what is the actual gunplay like? Is this a super realistic simulator? Well, it seems like it can be pretty harsh at times. From what Cortexian says, uh, with his experience in the alpha, and mind you, this could change in the future. It only takes about five to six shots before being dropped in the game. Would like, would you like something where it's more like Call of Duty or something more forgiving like Destiny? I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Of course, there's no news about PvP. I'm hoping there's some indication that there's going to be PvP, but I am hoping that it is a little bit more hardcore and that you die pretty quickly. So there you have it, another update about Ghost Recon Wildlands. This game is one of my most anticipated games upcoming here. It looks incredible. This and Tom Clancy's The Division, I assure you, will keep me busy for a very, very long time. So stay tuned for more news about Ghost Recon Wildlands and more open world gaming goodness right here on Open World Games. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications if you want videos in your email. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in Bolivia. Mm -hmm.